Hey y'all, welcome back to Let's Play East 6, Ark of Napish Tim. Last time, we explored the ruins, we fought the first boss, and we got the sword. And this time, we're gonna explore the town of Port Remorge. And here is this lady, Leave, and she'll give you an upgrade to your sword. So what we can do now is go to tamper your sword. Yes. And yes again. And that's neat. That's something cool there you can do. Next up, you want to head up here. And you want to go in this house, I believe. And you want to go in here. And you want to talk to this man. Boslem. My, what magnificent red hair. So you must be the newcomer that Lloyd mentioned. The name's Boslem. I'm a merchant from Altago. I was stranded here about ten years ago or so, and I've been working on expanding the town ever since. One might even say I'm the most important man in Ridgemoor. Remorge. Ha ha ha. Surprised? Well now, it's your turn. How did you get here, young man? That'll explain everything that had happened to him since he washed up on Quan Quatara Island. Oh, you ended up on Quatara, did you? To be blunt, I can't stand those redder. Especially Chief Ord, the stubborn old mule. He grumbles about every little thing. Stop destroying the ruins. Stop cutting down all the trees. What's the problem with wanting to make our town bigger and more pleasant to live in? You want a better life. You have to put in the hard work and creativity necessary to get it. That's the way a merchant needs to live. No, if you ask me, that's the way everyone needs to live. Sorry about that. And there is one more person we need to visit. Not her. Maybe her. I don't know about her. Oh, you're back. That took you longer than I'd expected. You may be Retta, but you still got ways to go before you've become a man. So spending too long on those monsters infested plains is just asking for trouble. I can't believe my eyes. Am I dreaming? No, I would recognize that red hair of yours anywhere. I don't suppose you remember me, do you, at all? I'm Raba. You saved me from Darm Tower six years ago. I do remember. Oh, I knew that would jog your memory. But how did you end up here, of all places? Did that adventurer spirit of you get the better of you and you make you dive into the Great Vortex? Actually, I shipwrecked and shit. Kinda sucks, to tell you the truth. So you fell off a pirate ship after getting attacked by the Roman fleet, did you? It's a miracle you made it here alive. Still, I'm amazed how quickly Sheephorde accepted you. Haha, uh, it looks like you haven't changed at all. It warms my old heart to hear. But you must have plenty of questions. I know that boundless curiosity of yours is not easily stated. Sadded. If there's anything I can answer for you, please be sure to let me know. I have no questions whatsoever. I just want this map of the Cannon Island. This is the map of the Cannon Islands that I've spent the last three years creating. It's precisely accurate, precise accurately something to be desired, but it should help you get breaking, get your bearings straight at least. I hope it'll at least be of use to you. Yeah, it probably will. Cool. Okay. One thing now is you want to head back into the ruins. Actually, one more thing. I can buy... I'm going to tell you right now. You're going to want to buy some stuff. You can buy a round shield. Now. So you're going to equip the round shield. Also, with your inventory, you might want to... You can also... I'm going to see if I can get enough. I probably won't this time, but you want to also have enough for the armor as well. I probably won't. But sell anything that's not an herb, I guess. 
I don't have enough. I expected that. But we want to head back to the other side of the ruins because we can now do something else. That is quite nice. I'm going to save for real quick. And then I'll meet you guys on the other side of the ruins. So... Alright, so while I was in those ruins, I leveled up once. And I'm now level 10. I'll probably be another level higher once we get back to the mainland. Uh, is there really a mainland in this place, though? But anyway, back on this side of the ruins, you want to... Well, you want to head out to the place... I don't even think I need to be fighting these things, because they're probably... I'm probably way too overleveled to fight them, in all honesty. But over here, at the other side of the bridge... There is a guy who will give you an item for a side quest that you cannot do after this moment. So, just keep this in mind. If you do this before now, if you do this after now, if you, if you, you cannot do this side quest after you finish the first dungeon. So just keep that in mind, okay? And I don't even know if it's after the first dungeon, I just say do it right now or else you aren't getting this side quest done. So speak to the Yarrow Hair one. Ah, oh, Adol, you've come at the perfect time. I've been instructed by the chief who acted towards repairing the bridge. Many are under the impression that Eurasians are responsible, but between you and me, I have my doubts. As such, I'd like to deliver this letter to the Sir to Master Boslem in the Eurasians town. If they, if they were indeed not responsible, then we could complete the repairs much more quicker with their aid. Just as well, the chief gave me his approval once I'd explained the matter. So would, what do you say? Would you help? I will deliver the letter. So we have obtained the letter to Mass to Balsalem. Oh great, I could do that voice again. I love doing that voice so much. I have a whole channel dedicated to it. <laughs> I'll see you guys back at Balsalem's. Alright, we're back on the coastal road on the other side of the place. And I get to do that voice and I'm really happy because I get to do that voice. I love doing that voice so much. Go back in here, go back in here, and give the letter to Balsam. Hmm, is that for me? Adol hands over the letter to Balsam. Hmm, so the Rita has sent me a letter, have they? I'll admit I'm not that not being able to use the bridge has been very inconvenient for us as well. Very well, I suppose I'll hold on to it. Though I will never ask for this in the first place, you have my thanks nonetheless. Here's a little something from me. Don't spend it all in one place. I got 30 gold, yay. All right, I've heard you came here through an insect-infested underground passage. Not just anyone can manage that, so how about it? You interested in finding a way to Zimuth Island for me? Zimuth Island's a small island on the west side of Cannon Island. It's a holy place to the Reda. Supposedly covered from the end to end in ruins. As of now, the current so fast that no one's been able to land there. But I have a hunch the key to solving the mystery of the Great Vortex lies somewhere on the isle on that island. I made the same offer to that mercenary called Geese, but he turned me down right without a second thought. Youngsters these days, I tell you, wouldn't know a good deal if I'd smacked them right in the face. Yeah, I'll go see if I can find a way to that island. Why the frick not? Thought I was going to say something else. So, now that I got 187 gold, I can buy myself the ring now. Uh, update, so I go ahead, I'm going to say go ahead and equip the ring mail. And then we're going to head back to the other island. Yay, another trip through the Underground Passage.
Well, before we actually go under that, there is this side right here with the other man. I forgot what voice I gave him now, and I'm not going to try it. I think it was like some sort of Australian accent. I can see those, some of those trailed freaks on the other side of the bridge. Looks like there's two of them there at the moment. I wonder what they're muttering about. Either way, fat chance we're getting this fixed at this rate. I'll have to let Master Bosselum know and see what he thinks. And you know, you, you don't have as cool of a voice as Master Bosselum, though. I'm going to go back through the ruins again. Alright, so we're back on the other side of the bridge, and here he is. You talk to him, and he'll tell Adol that he delivered the letter to Balsam. You did? That's wonderful news. I'm a little bit of a grasp on their written language, but I knew enough for them to understand my intentions, fortunately. Please accept this as a small token of my appreciation. The Seed of Power. Ooh, this is a good item. This one. Go to inventory. Go ahead and use this. This will increase your strength by plus one. Now that's done, I'm going to meet you guys at the edge of the town on the Canaan Islands. I will see you guys in a second. I know this video's had a lot of off screens. Alright, so now that we have finished that up, our only other intention for this video, I think, is to get at all up to level 12. And I want to do that in the plains out here where there are some enemies that give you some decent experience, though it's nothing great. And in the first dungeon, there's an enemy coming up that gives really good experience. And it is probably the one you are not expecting at all. I'm going to show this off. I'll show this off in a bit. But for now, we're right out here. Oh yeah, one thing I want to state, by the way, is I don't know if this video is going up. Um, I'm getting... This is probably going to be up after I get the surgery, but I'm getting surgery. And so if I just disappear randomly and a few videos... Because I usually keep my video log about three weeks in advance. If I just randomly disappear, I probably died. Except not really. Um, it's just surgery on my tooth and I'm fine, probably. So I'm probably okay. But if I'm, if I'm dead... Um, if, I, if you don't see, if you don't hear a video after this, I'm dead. Not dead, okay? I promise you I'm gonna be okay, though. Um, but yeah, I'm getting surgery, so I might be dead after this. Uh, actually, also out this way... ...is, um... ...is an item. Now, this isn't missable, but... I mean, there are a lot of things in this game that are missable. I'm trying to see if I can find it. There should be an item around here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. The wild fowl meat. To explain what this item does, it, uh, well... It recovers 180 HP. Tastes like turkey. That sounds pretty tasty, yo. So yeah, let's just keep facing these enemies off. And let's try to get to level 12. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna off screen. Until this is all done. And then I'll meet you guys back at the main field area. Because we don't really want to be over here yet. Unless you want to head into the worst dungeon in the game. Well, second worst, depending on who you ask. Alright, level 11. Sweet. 
so now that we're level 11, or is it level 12? I don't remember. Now we're level 12, yes. Okay. Level 12, I'm going to head back into town real quick, and I'm going to upgrade my sword. Maybe just one more level, I think. I'll see. And then we're going to head off to the first dungeon, which will be nice. And for the C1, what the upgrade does right now, it just gives me a special ability that I'm not going to be using right away because eh, I don't need to use it at the moment. But I've upgraded my sword to level 4, which puts my strength at level th at 41. And anything else? Nothing else I can really do right now. Let's head out to the first dungeon. Which is straight out this way. And it's not that horrible place I mentioned earlier. That's not until the third dungeon. Don't go there yet. I mean it. You're gonna get your ass beaten. It's like the, uh, rest the, uh, minds of that, this game, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I do. Who knows? Alright, I think we are at the first dungeon, maybe, or maybe not. Let's not die to those things, because if I do, I have to start probably back from the beginning, which I think we want to avoid. So welcome to Granavalis Mountain, Dungeon 1. This is where we're going to end off our video. Next time on Let's Play East 6, we will explore Granavalis Mountain. I will see you guys then.